Hello YouTubers, well I thought I'd give you an update of the uh, gear best uh, micro quadcopter that I got, brushless quadcopter I got that was defective. Kind of give you an update, as I promised this is part three. Um, basically I thought I'd just kind of show my email correspondence and, and show you how gear best work as far as support. Um, obviously I'm in the gear best support center. Uh, my initial ticket here. Uh, I explained to him I received the item on Tuesday 8 23 17 which was August 23rd um, explained uh, that I opened it the problems I was having um, told him that I was an experienced quad builder and that uh, that I was having an issue with their product uh, you scroll down here and then basically it's uh, they're sorry to hear about the item we'll work together to resolve the issue to your satisfaction uh, please review warranty, which according to their warranty that they advertise it should be under warranty. Uh, it says please keep the attachment. It says please send a video, which I've never had before, but it says please send a video. So that was part two. I created that video for GearBest. Um, tells you if it's too big for two megabytes to send it to support GearBest, which I sent the link to YouTube so they could see the video. And uh, we look forward to hearing to you. Um, so I responded back, sir, per your request, I have made a detailed video of defective product and posted it on YouTube channel. Please go to the URL, which I gave them to review the video. It says, uh, then it comes back and it says, uh, next one's from GearBest Customer Support. Thank you for contacting. We have received your information. We need to confirm the issue with our technical team and get back with you and update as soon as possible. We will then resolve the issue to your satisfaction. If you're unable for any reason to receive this message, please feel free to contact us again after two business days. Okay, well, here it is. Um, today is um, the 18th. Actually, I don't know why this is the 19th. I guess it's because of the difference in time. But uh, anyway, I'm basically now telling them it's been 10 days uh, since they said give them two business days. Um, I did have another response that came across. And uh, this is a hoot. This came in at 9-5, which was, what, 12 days ago. And uh, if you can read this, I don't know, hopefully this camera's picking this up. It says, thank you for your order, GearBest. We colleague has dealed with issue for you in the ticket T70. You know, that's the ticket I just showed you. Well, first, they didn't deal with the issues, and it should be you know, I, I don't know what they mean to deal, but everybody says, we would like to solve this issue to your satisfaction. Please reply that ticket. Our colleague will, please reply that ticket. Our colleague will continue to do the best to assist you. Thanks, you. thanks for your understanding and patience. Okay, well, my patience is running out, and uh, their English is, I mean, I, I'm not even going to pick on that, because I get it. There's a definitely a, uh, you know, there's a conversion between English and Chinese, and and I'm sure they're using a converter, so I'm not even going to pick on the uh, the obvious is that I find in as far as the uh, context and the grammar in it. But anyway, um, basically, uh, what it comes down to, and I can go back. Uh, let me go ahead and go back to home here. This one item, if I go to my count, I, I showed two tickets. There's actually three, but uh. As you can see, I think the game they play is they just continue to wear you down. There's, there's, uh, you know, I, I, I wish they're wearing me down to be honest. But uh, uh, so far, you know, the latest I've got is we colleague has dealt with issue for you in ticket, and that ticket is one I just showed you, which is the one that ends in four five. Ends in four five see ticket four five and how they dealt with the issue the latest is that they will get back to me and update me as soon as possible it's been 14 days yeah I guess 14 days they have not got back to me so I guess the whole point of this video is is yes there's some great deals out there at GearBest um, I buy from them I bought from them in the past but it's buyer beware. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to come down with. Um, you're buying from Chinese. You know, I realized even I got to looking. If, if they gave me an RMA, it would cost me half of what I paid for the product to ship it back. Apparently, the Chinese subsidize 
shipping for resellers or sellers in China so their shipping to the US is really cheap but for me to go the other way uh, the cheapest I found for less than a one pound item was like $40 um, I mean we're talking about a $89 item here so I mean who's gonna you know in their right mind spend that kind of money and go through that spend half the pro the cost of the product to spend it back so I, I guess the point is is you're kind of on your own um, like I said there's a lot of cool products out there but uh, I think from now on I'm gonna stick to things that uh, that are not electronic or technical because uh, if you have a product problem you're gonna get this run around that I'm currently getting I'm pretty sure um, I, I had hoped that they would you know basically uh, after my video you know detailed that there was a problem send me another one I mean you know that got it probably only cost him five dollars a manufacturer I mean I, I don't know I'm just you know talking off the top of my head but either way I mean the right thing to do in this situation would be to uh, to you know either refund me credit me that value or you know send me another one out that that's not defective but I, as I can see here, it's it's basically it's, it's buyer beware market. Um, whatever you purchase, you better uh, either be able to fix it, or uh, I mean, sure, I could probably go buy forty dollars for the parts and get the thing working, which is probably what I'll end up having to do. Uh, I'm guessing that it's probably the flight controller or the or the receiver, one of the two, which is you know if I order the both of them for this little quadcopter, it's around forty bucks. So you know it's a wash. I either send it back for 40 which they haven't even offered that or i just order parts and fix it myself but anyway i'm i'm done with my rant just uh i would say be prepared that if you have a defective product from gear best uh, uh there's the other one out there buying good any of those don't don't expect much as far as uh product support or return policy because there it's from what i can tell non-existent